Hey Nexus team, we're here with another video. This time we're going to go over striking technique. First, we'll focus on how to measure up to the Nexus as well as striking form when hitting the pads. This will help ensure that your unit reads all the strikes correctly, which will also help you achieve the highest scores in our avatar rounds and the new live training sessions. To start, you can hit the Nexus hard and it will read those big power strikes. However, when you're in workouts, you want to aim for 100% power readings on the screen. This will ensure you're getting the most out of every strike as well as avoiding any long-term damage to ligaments or joints. To get started, when you're striking the pad, you want to ensure you're measured up the correct distance from the unit. Get into your ready stance with your guard up. When your fist is fully extended, it should just barely touch the pad. Then when you actually throw your punch, you want to contact the pad crisply and deliberately. Keep in mind, the rotation of your hips will ensure that your strike length will be long enough to make the pad move. To ensure that the pad sensor will detect the strike correctly, you want to make sure you're not pushing the pads back. The perfect strike should only move the pad one to two inches. The center body pad is unique in that it can reach strikes on three different axes, X, Y, and Z. You can strike normal straight body shots, digs, uppercuts, and even knees. When striking this pad, you want to keep everything about power, accuracy, and technique we've previously mentioned in mind. The main thing we add when striking the body pad is a level change. Still holding your guard up, you want to drop down, strike the pad deliberately, and crisply like we've been talking about throughout the video. With these tips, you should not only be able to get the most out of your Nexorcist workout, but also compete against some of our top level athletes on the Nexorcist team. Stay light on your feet, keep your guard up, and we'll catch you next time.